This is the first year I've ever core aerated our lawn. In case you're not familiar, core aerating is basically using a machine that takes a bunch of plugs out of your lawn and just sets them on top, where after some rain, they will dissolve. The idea is that the holes left behind will decrease compaction and increase the amount of water, air, and nutrients that get to the root level of your grass. We have some areas like our south garden where we intend to walk and drive our gators on the lawn, and I think over time, aerating will help keep that from getting too compacted. This is also the first time I've ever used this sweep all aerator, so this is my review. The model number is AR1748, in case you're interested, but I think it's the only aerator that Sweetball sells. Having not used any other aerators before, I kind of get the feeling that this is one of the nicer aerators on the market, so feel free to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Before I get into my impressions, let me go over the specs really quick. This is obviously a tow-behind model as opposed to something you would hook up to a three-point hitch. The reason I didn't want to get a three-point hitch model was because my tractor is pretty large. It's a 4066R John Deere and I thought it might be kind of tough getting into some tight spaces and this seemed like it might be easier for that. This one has three quarter inch coring tines that go about four inches into the ground. There's also two sections that spin independently and I think that's for when you're making turns so that way it doesn't tear up your lawn. It has 13 inch turf tires, it's 63 inches wide, 42 and a half inches of aerating width, and it's about 27 inches tall with the weight box. One of the shining features for me is that it's got an electric lift. So with the push of a button, I can go up and down without having to get off the tractor. I guess you can get a manual version for like $500 less, but I can't imagine that being a super popular option. Maybe I'm wrong though. The rocker switch has a magnet, so it just stays right next to the seat, super easy to reach. It's manufactured in Canada with a base price of around $2,500. It comes in green, but you can get it in orange for I think like $200 more. Like I said, the electric lift is an extra $500 and the weight box on top is an extra $300. If you don't get the weight box, I guess you can stick a barrel on top and fill it with water. I suppose if you fill it all the way to the top, you're fine, but if you didn't, it might slosh around and cause some weird weight distribution. But either way, I did get the weight box and I put five cinder blocks and four suitcase weights on top. They didn't fit all that nicely, honestly, but it does work. Um, in the future, I might opt for sand or, or gravel or something like that. Overall, the aerator is 275 pounds. Uh, with the extra weight that I put on, I think I'm just a little over 600 pounds. So altogether, you'd be looking at about $3,500 uh, with the way that this one is configured. It would probably be tough to justify the price tag given that you'd only use it once or twice a year, but I think this is marketed more as a commercial unit. So I don't think homeowners are really like their target demographic, mostly landscapers and rental shops. However, you could probably pay it off pretty quickly or at least offset some of the cost if you offered some aerating services on the weekends. So for me, one of the main reasons I wanted to aerate the lawn was because we've got some areas that are pretty compacted. You can see where we planted grass over our old driveway and the grass just didn't come up very well. I don't think that we tilled it up enough. I should have done a better job of that. I'm hoping that this will break up the compaction and for the most part, I was pretty happy with how it did. I did go over those spaces a couple times. I also plan on adding things like gypsum and compost to these compacted areas. So over time, I, I think we'll get it handled. I should mention that before I started aerating, I put flags by each of the sprinklers in the middle of the lawn. I can't imagine a 600 pound aerator coming down on those sprinkler heads would be very good. So I tried to avoid that by running around them. Overall, I think this is a great aerator and honestly, it's kind of fun to run. My only complaint was that I noticed the plugs coming out of the super compacted areas were only about one to two inches long, whereas the plugs in the less compacted areas were like the full four inches. That's probably my fault for not putting enough weight in the back. So next time I'll do that, it's gonna have to wait till fall though, because I don't wanna keep going over the same areas over and over. I am happy that I got the aerator and it is definitely expensive given the fact that I'll only use it once or twice a year, but it does seem extremely well built. So I do have quite a bit of confidence that it should last a long time. I'm hopeful that after continued use, it will improve the lawn. And it does make sense that by creating the cores, it'll allow nutrients and water and air to get closer to the roots of the grass. So anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.